Why is Mubadala interested in this deal now? Well, one, we have to just look at the total picture of everything. Uh, this. So, I mean, news of this sale came out last year in November. Uh, but we have to take a look at what happened last year as well, too. It looked like SoftBank declined roughly 20% in 2021. And so it's been a tough market for all investors right now. And actually, we had the uh, CEO of uh, Fortress last week in Sun Valley on, on Bloomberg TV. He actually sat with Shanali Bosick and kind of spoke to on inflation and just, you know, this Biden administration. And he said it would be rough to predict the next year or two. And I think this comes down to those, um, those, the, just the, the environment itself. And we're going to see how we've been seeing a lot of these um, asset managers consolidate over some time now. And I think this is just the next one, of, the next chip to fall as well. The intent that uh, Massa had for Fortress ended up being quite different in terms of what they were able to do from a regulatory perspective. Yeah, you know, one thing, again, back to this entire environment, it's tough for everyone. You're going to see a lot of these investments come over the, the course of this year. We're still continuing to see, um, you know, just investments fall in the public equity markets. You know, it's still a, a big, a huge debate if there are, there is or will be a recession over the next three to six months. And I think this is just a, uh, another chip to fall, possibly showing that things are getting tight for investors.